New tonight, Aron County Park is getting a facelift. It all started with a group of locals who had a shared vision, and that vision is to make the Fred Davis Jr. Park lively again. Reporter Chris Lucas shares their plan. The Fred Davis Jr. Triangle Park sits soundless. This was a place that we all gathered in the summertime as well as the fall. Uh, time to play basketball, to get on the merry-go-round, to swing. Memories are vivid. I broke my arm on the monkey bars here, <laughs> ran down the street there, you know, they, you know, lived down the street at the time, and, you know, one of my cousins, she chipped my tooth with a back midden. A shift made those sounds of fun and laughter fade over the years. Years ago, drugs came in just like it did probably all over the state of Tennessee or all over the United States. That's why the park is not full because a lot of parents were afraid to bring their kids up here. Alicia Harris believes in miracles. She sees a future for this park. She knows what it's like to overcome a challenge. I had cancer back in 2019, uh, multiple, multiple myeloma cancer. I had a stem cell transplant. Both Alicia and Margie have a vision. There's singing, gospel singings can be performed here. You know, um, um, what can I say if they want to have picnics? Sometimes they bring picnics to this park. Alicia's health challenge made her life lessons louder. I learned that life is short, don't be cheap. Give all you can give. Which is why she's invested in the park. But I want to give back what God gave me. He gave me life, so I want to give life to this park. And bring back those sounds of laughter and fun. In Harriman, Chris Lucas. The first step in the park's facelift will take place next Saturday with a fundraiser and lots of food and activities. Organizers say the proceeds will all go to the Triangle Park Association to help restore that park.